Tribute to the troops coming up here shortly. And before yeah, we get to that, I do have to say that, yeah, there were some moments on SmackDown, but I'm sorry, Hit Row, Top Dollar, yeah, that botch there didn't look good. And it just has not clicked. Notice it really didn't click all that much in NXT until Swerve joined. And then look at the rise they had and how quickly they all got fired. But it just hasn't been working. The crowd, they, they won that. It was just like silence. And then that botch didn't help anything. And, you know, the live kendo stick thing so early, this didn't make any fucking sense to me either. Correct me. You know, tell me your thoughts on it. I thought it sucked. Um, but... At least we know that we're going to see John Cena have a match this year. So, there's that. And the Roman stuff is still good to see the look on Sammy's face from happy to sad. Yeah, that story works. But, yeah, that whole tag thing, man. You, like, I get not wanting to feed the Viking Warriors that you brought back, like, right away. To, you know, the Usos to lose. But, like, sorry, it's not hitting with Hit Row. Like, forcing it isn't going to work. And that botch, I don't blame him if he's disappointed by them. But the crowd just didn't seem into it. They did good stuff with, you know, the Bray stuff I liked. So there are some positive things to move forward on. But, you know, tribute to the troops, 2022. Most patriotic show of the year. And, I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick when I go over, like, what they at least had on the website still. You know, what they have planned. I'm sure there's more. But, you know, maybe one of you guys can or gals, or whatever the hell you are, can tell me, you know, what, you know, great effect to the show is Emma and Tamina versus Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are going to do. We know who's going to win. Tamina hopefully is the one that gets pinned because it doesn't make sense to bring Emma back and then have her lose again. Will we see, you know, Raquel get involved because of last night? Yeah, there's all kinds of things that can happen with it all. Um, but... Really, what is, I mean, it'll extend that, hopefully, if they even have her show up. If they don't, what the hell is the point of that? It's just filler. And Braun Strowman and L.A. Knight, you know, Braun and Bray, they have their history. L.A. Knight with Bray right now, you know, and Uncle Howdy, so we'll see how all that works. They could do something interesting with it. And, you know, I think it'll still at least be entertaining. I'm not saying anything about Emma and Tamina. It's just, what's the point? Like, they could have done better, in my opinion. No one from the bloodline on the show, according to this, like that. Makes sense. And then the one that I think is going to be a banger, you know, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Ricochet versus Imperium. We all know how I feel about Imperium. They should never split them up for that Giovanni Vinci shit. Thanks, Vince. But they're back together. I think that one's going to be the, the show stealer, obviously, of matches. Like, that's going to be the banger, and the other ones I'm not even looking forward to, except to see what outside stuff happens. So I don't know. Uh, but let me know what you think. Follow the Wrestling with Jesse Rosinski YouTube channel and all that, and enjoy it.